Are you guys ready? <laughs> da 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 da. Setting up, setting up ever so slowly. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Thank you, thank you for waiting for so long. I'm sorry I died for the past two days. <laughs> it was Edmund's birthday. Hi, <laughs> at the cards. How you doing? I hope you're good. It was Edmund's birthday on that Thursday, and and holy crap, I slept so late. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, you EP, you sleepy, me too. I'm so old, I can't. I I did it twice. I did. I I pulled a. I I stayed awake until like three a.m. for two days straight. I was I, I I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys want to know what I did? What I made? Alright, yeah, let me show you. Give me a moment. I want to show you how proud I am to have made this. Ta-da! This is what I made! <laughs> I'm a happy clam. I'm very proud of my baby. It's my first. No, this is my third try. Actually, it's looks good, doesn't it? Does it look good? I think it looks great. <laughs> proud of my work. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> ah. Thank you, thank you. Hi, why, why? Welcome. Yes, my baby. I'm gonna bring him around. <laughs> Ah, okay. Shall we? Shall we go on with the story, part two? Yes, yes, we have about five chapters here. Yes. Six, actually. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Let's go, everybody. New carnival time. I've been seeing a couple of spoilers, but at least it doesn't make sense to me. So I don't know what's all that about. <sighs> Yawn. The sun's up already? I slept so well last night. I must have been exhausted. I was worried I wasn't I wasn't going to catch any sleep. Oh apparently guys apparently like um apparently like uh la the final chapter when they hung out their shirts to dry or something. Apparently that was a reference to Brokeback Mountain or something. I, I didn't watch the movie so I didn't know. But I heard it was a tragic gay romance. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was a that was a really cool reference. No, not a lot of people would know, but I think, um, no, I think it's pretty famous. It's just that I didn't watch it. Yeah, just, 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 I I know of the title, but I just didn't watch it. Hmm. I guess it's time for me to watch it. Eh? Finally s slept enough. Dante, when did you get back? I didn't notice a thing. Huh? Why isn't Garu here? He was already up when I got back. You're the only one who slept this long. Hmm. Garu's probably gone to take care of breakfast. He did agree to make breakfast for you before you went to sleep early, Sun Lord Dante. Oh? Oi. Hey, Dante, you gotta be nice to the puppy, okay? He's making you food. <laughs> so our, our cute little prince... Our cute little king won't starve in the desert. I didn't ask him to make breakfast. Did last night's investigation get you anything? You could say it did, but also that it didn't. 
I found an abandoned altar near here. Maybe the elemental spirits of fire dwelled here long ago. But today... Oh. Halfway through his line, he suddenly senses a strong tremor racing across the ground. Like that of many animals moving. Stampede! We are going to have the lion <laughs> what? What's happening? It's coming from over there. Let's go take a look. Huh? Sheep? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 Aiden! Whoa, so many sheep. Yeah, you're about to become roadkill. Oh, shit, you're Simba. You're like Mufasa. Long live the king. <laughs> Following the voice, they see a shepherd yelling loudly at Garu, surrounded by a, sc a scattering flock of sheep. Garu! Aw, he's a herding shepherd! That is so cute! Ah, Master! What's going on? I wanted to make breakfast before everybody woke up. When I was looking for a thing to eat, I ran into somebody leading a lot of sheep, so I couldn't help trying to get closer. But I, I, but I ended up scaring them, and they began to scatter. Ah! <laughs> so what now? What are you asking me for? <laughs> oh, poor baby. You gotta chase them back. You did this. You can't just steal someone's sheep. Huh? Karu? Really? Okay, I'll leave it to you then. What's Garu discussing with Karu? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh no. That foolish Garu can't do a thing without me. Human slave number one, you stand by and look on as I, the mighty Karu, make the sheep obey immediately. Finally, it's my turn. Watch me closely. Whoa, Kaoru is so fast! Looks like the sheep are gathering together! Yes, a flying twink. Ready to set all the sheep back into, into, into place. <laughs> the wolf yokai nimbly weaves through the flock of sheep, occasionally driving a sheep that fell behind, and occasionally keeping the sh sheep from moving forward. This leaf figure forms a striking contrast with the vast field, like a match made in heaven. Oh, oh my sheep! <laughs> Scared yet? Now be good sheep and go back. Ah, not a, not a, not a good boy! He's such a good boy! Smooch, 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 smooch. Kiss, 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 kiss. Following their instinctive, instinctive Aversion to predators, the scattered sheep slowly draw to a close. Uh, st slowly draw close to the shepherd. Oh shit, I can't read the day. I can't raid. Ah! Oh man. After sticking close to their fellows, the sheep gradually calm down and stop running around. Thanks a bunch. My sheep are all black. Oh my god. Okay. My sheep are all back. You're pretty amazing. <laughs> Karu really is awesome. I didn't think I'd get to enjoy such an incredible incredible sheep show early in the morning. Did you see that, Dante? Oh, Dante? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Our king is messing? Oh, oh, wait, 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 he's here. Oh. Turning around to look, Aiden sees Dante with a serious expression. Staring at some place in the distance. Oh! He knows we're watching. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> he sends us a peeping Tom for his abs. <laughs> What's he staring with such intense focus? Dante, what are you looking at? 
The, vegeta the vegetation here is sparse. Plants can't take root. The shape. Have to travel so far for a place to graze. Mm. That's too tough. Yeah, that's true. Yo, actually, when you think about it, what do travelers feed their, like, their transport animals? Like, wait, no, camels can eat anything. They don't care. They just eat everything, right? They can eat cactus, can... Yeah, there's cactus. They, they, will, they will live, right? But aren't there, like, actual farms on, like, in, like, the desert? Sometimes, like, do they, do they just eat hay? I, I feel like they should eat some fresh grass, at least. Because, like, I know if humans eat cactus, it's gonna give us, like, like, psychedelic effects or something. I don't know. We're gonna see hallucinations. We're gonna do, like, oh, mushroom cloud! Or, like, soccer. Upon hearing these words, Aiden can't help but look towards the shepherd and his flock. In a demonstration of, their tr of the truth of Dante's words, the previously scattered sheep have already moved on, drawing out the distance between them and the onlookers. Oh, I just remember where we stopped off. Everyone fucking hates Dante because likely his family has something to do with their exile. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Australia. Dante, how about going back to town and asking around? After last night's scene, you think we can still ask people for information? I'm thinking not every resident may be hostile towards us, maybe. Even if this place once had beef with Solaria, there must be some people in town who don't care. If we just ask them nicely, there should be some people who are willing to talk to us. You're saying I should ask them softly? Yeah, I mean, way better than what you did last time, Dante. I mean, you you could... It won't kill you to be soft, you know? At least we're not trying to strip you down like in, in a previous event, okay? Okay? <laughs> I'm saying you should ask them nicely. Who's hiding there? Sure yourself. Oh? Oh, shit. As the wolf yokai calls out, he kicks the gravel underfoot in the direction of the craggy rock. The collision causing a series of sparks. Huh? Ah, don't, just don't kill me, I'm coming out. A youth comes out from behind a rock, his two hands raised high and a nervous expression on his face. Oi. What were you sneaking around for? You better explain yourself, then I just might consider letting you off the hook. Hold on, no need to scare him senseless. I feel like I've seen him before. Jimmy. Are you from the tavern? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you you recognize me? I saw you helping at the bar. Since you secretly followed us, is there anything you want? Uh, I wanted to say to the Sun Lord, pl please, don't blame the Lone Wolf. Th those weapons are for protecting everyone. Those shipments, Lone Wolf has no intention of letting the weapons end up a anywhere else. When he heard you in the tavern yesterday, Lone Wolf was very angry. He also checked today's shipment one more time to confirm that there weren't any weapons in there. Huh? Oh, shit! I don't know if you should have said that, but I don't know. He gotta investigate. That's how the story goes, right? Today's shipment. You mean there's a, an exchange of smuggled goods taking place today? Damn it! Ah, I ran my mouth again. This is why they kept me at the bar serving drinks. Quit, quit screaming. Let's give a chase. Karu, let's go. Huh? Huh? Don't you think you can order me? <laughs> ah! That's so cute! <laughs> He grabbed him by the collar! He grabbed him by the cuff! Okay, okay, yeah. Stop yapping! Time to go, little boy! Let's go. <laughs> Sweet baby! Just get moving! Oh my gosh! Aiden and Karu da chase Dante back to the town, 
where they only see fully loaded carriages taking off. He picks him up like a dog. Oh yeah, he's just a little puppy. He's just a little puppy. That's so cute. The spinning wheels leave tracks in the barren sand that are immediately hidden by the wind. Aside from the old people and children, there's children! Oh shit, okay. The entire town has been mobilized. Everyone fully decked out with cloth covering mouth and nose on horseback to escort the caravan. Where did the night where did night rat go? Those guys are getting more and more they outrageous. They need to be taught a lesson. What? Us? Hello? We are not doing anything. If anything, we're having a little spicy moment in the tent. Bringing up the rear at the town entrance and watching the caravan take off is Lone Wolf, sitting up straight in high spirits. Oi. Lone Wolf, you dare put, sh put on such a show right in front of me. You have good sources of intel, Sun Lord, but unfortunately, today's trade won't be taking place in Solaria. Even if you manage to stop the caravan, you won't have the right to squeeze taxes from us. Not taxes! We don't want to have taxes! No! We just don't want people getting hurt! Can you guarantee there aren't any goods smuggled from Solaria in that caravan? Ooh, it's a showdown. Even if there were, it'd be because you've been doing a lousy job running Solaria. Oh, that's a little spicy. Dante, don't act rash. They're probably all carrying essence conductors. So many carriages. Young Wolf Yokai. You're still wearing a collar? Such a shame. He can't live without it! If you could take off with everybody, you could join the adventure yourself, fighting bandits and monsters together, and learning to haggle with greedy merchants. Even if I was wearing a collar, I'd still do the things I wanted to do. Masters never controlled me. Oh? So I'm not going with you, because sm smuggling is bad! Good and bad are just rules set by a certain people. I still have stuff to do, so I'll take my leave. That is true. You know, when, when you when you become in- you, Okay, honestly though, I can't blame them. You know, when you think about the situation, there are a bunch, a bunch of like outlaws stuck in one single place. They have no place to go. No food, no water, no, more like there's no like raw material. They have no vegetation. Okay, they have no choice but to do this. It kind of sucks though. Oh, after confirming the entire caravan has taken to the road, the man li uh, lightly spurs his horse, turns it around, and rushes to the other side of town. Oh. Can you let go now? You're twisting my clothes out of shape. Uh, I was just worried you'd do something rash. A little thing like this isn't enough to get me get me to act rash. Mm. That is true. He is a king. He can't just like get up. He's a little hot tempered though, so uh, you know this this is still okay, I guess. Ah, uh, they all left. Why so fast? The boss said he'd take me to with him this time. Must be because you're way too slow. <laughs> oh. Oh man, this sucks. I don't know. How, how can we convince the old guy to like believe Garu actually? I don't know. You know, I foresee. Okay, for for real though, I foresee the lone wolf ripping the collar off and almost killing Karu. I am calling it now. What if they do that? What if they do that? Like because he's so stubborn in his ways, right? I believe that Karu might be in danger this time. This town was first established by some criminals who had been banished from Solaria, probably in the time of my grandfather's grandfather. 
Oh, so it's your grandfather's grandfather. Oh, okay, but but everyone's fucking dead, as according to your story, right? Oh dear. Okay, time to bring them back. Grandfather's grandfather. No, honestly though, okay, if they come back to Solaria, even the prisoners have jobs. That's the nice thing. You know, like we have seen Dante educate and give jobs to the 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 the, the, the petty thieves and all that. They they he allocates something to them. That's wonderful. Come on. Okay, we gotta import this entire town. <laughs> Banished. Yeah, I heard that back then. The moment you were convicted, you were immediately driven from Solaria and left to survive on your own. That's horrible! What the fuck? My grandfather said that every time his grandfather mentioned the past, he'd swear at a Sun Lord for persecuting dissenters with cruel laws and leaving them with no way out. Hmm. Ah, I don't mean you. This was a long time ago. I called it. I fucking called it. So that's the origin. No wonder everyone treats Dante like this. But it's not Dante who made that decision. But at least Dante knows now because he didn't know. So I think he can do something. That'd be great. It's not easy living here. You have never thought of leaving? Although the environment isn't particularly good here and we need to rely on smuggling to come by. Lone Wolf often says that home is wherever you live, and I really like that line. After all, this is our home. Ah, Yeah, I get that. Sun Lord, I hope you believe Lone Wolf. He's probably also trying to find the culprits. Halfway through his words, the sound of essence conductors being fired can suddenly be heard not far away. What's that sound? Essence conductors? It's coming from the other side of town. Oh no! No! Oh, Jija, no! You're too handsome to die! You can't die! <laughs> After clarifying the source of the sound and getting ready to move, the sound of hooves can be heard moving in their direction. Huh? Hey, that's one. That's lone wolves. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Spicy, spicy. Okay, wow. Um, more shots from essence conductors can be heard. Lone Wolf sways atop his horse and can no longer control the reins. Oh, the horse is freaked out! Oh, shit! The scared horse lets out a long neigh, brandishing its front legs in the air and throwing the wounded Lone Wolf off its back. No! Oh, no! No, get him out of there! Wait, can't horses kill people? Like, the back legs are, like, really dangerous. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, take him, take him, good. Yeah, baby. Go, 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 go. The wolf yokai crouches low and flies forward, catching Lone Wolf before he hits the ground while rolling to the side to avoid the horse's vicious hooves. At the same time, the red-haired Sun Lord throws the lasso in his hand around the horse's neck. After pulling the horse close, he grabs the reins and walks the horse in a few circles. Very soon, the horse is under control. You hurt! What happened? Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. He says with his arm broken. <laughs> That's kidding. I hope he's not hurt. Oh gosh. Standing up beside Garu, the dirt covered man ignores the bleeding wound on his left shoulder. Oh shit. He then forcefully pushes the youth and Aiden in the back pushing them behind the wooden crates by the side of the road to hide. You shouldn't stay here. You better hide. Night Rat betrayed me. Night Rat? Is the bearded man who wanted my collar? Young Wolf Yokai, help me call everyone back. There, there may be an ambush on the road. Huh? Garu, 
Call everyone back to help. You ha you be careful too. Okay, got it. Taking the reins from Dante's hands, Garu jumps on the horse, his legs clamping the horse's flank. He shoots off to the endless wilderness with surprising speed. Aiden, take that kid out of here. Enemies are approaching. All right. You too, Sun Lord. You better leave. See, Lone Wolf, you have a heart after all. We're just trying to do all. Oh. Oh, there's no time. Oh. Several figures carrying essence conductors slowly appear from the sand colored cloud on the other side of the street. Hey, come check it out, everyone. Lone Wolf is hiding behind his most hated Sun Lord. Night Rat, is this how you want to ruin everyone's lives? Was it you that let those ex essence conductors enter Solaria? Aren't you the one who's stuck in the past? Such awesome weapons and all you can do is secretly sell them in small numbers. If you weren't the only one who knew how to make and maintain them, I would have gone off on my own long ago instead of putting up with this, sh this shit under you. That's because the old master knew how dangerous Essence Conductors are, that he passed the technology on to me. Cut the crap. I get it! A gutless coward like you is scared that if you draw too much attention, Solaria or the royal capital will send soldiers to flatten the town, right? Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Don't worry. I've already got my hands on all the essence conductors in town. If you don't tell me how to make them, my comrades and I will be the one flattening this place. Forwards like you don't have the right to join me. What? To help you make up your mind, I went ahead and gathered the, all the old folks and kids in the tavern. So don't get any ideas. Got it? You heartless bastard. Still such a big mouth on you. How about I pump more holes into you? Where do I start? The bearded man lifts the essence conductors in his left and right hands, squinting his eyes and gesturing the, at the two men mockingly. Bitch, we got magic! We got magic, baby! Start with me. The red-haired youth. Low and resolute voice cuts through the thick air. That's right, show him, Dante! You and your hard as steel picks! Alright, ooh, okay, battle sequence. Okay, we're halfway through already. That was fast. Wait, is it? Is that all? No, I feel like we could have more. I mean, it has been really sad and really, like, you know. You know, like, we can't, we can't really do anything in this situation, you know? Like, it's a, an unfortunate circumstance. You? <laughs> I've seen the Sun Lord flee for his life, but I haven't seen him bent on dying. No rush. It'll be your turn soon. I have only one question for you. Would you take me up on a bet using the rules of this town? What the? This does not concern you. Huh. The Sun Lord wants to duel me. What are the stakes? Our lives. The lives of all the townsfolk. As long as I don't lose, you can't raise a hand against them. Oh. <laughs> Too scared? <laughs> That's what I figured. Of course, a descendant of criminals that fled with their tails between their legs is too scared to face the rules established by the town. <laughs> Not bad. I'll play with you. It's all the same to me. Let's see what kind of nonsense comes out of your mouth when there's a few holes in that pretty face of yours. Here. I'm sorry, Chad. I am so invested in this. This is like... Mm, less jokes. Very spicy right now. Like, mm, tensions are high. 
Dante reaches out to take the essence conductor the bearded man is holding out. Oh, it's okay, Hunter. Thank you for trying to join. Okay, rest well. Good luck in your new job. Bye-bye. Take care, Gambate. You can do it. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Dante reaches out to take the essence conductor the bearded man is holding out. The moment his fingers make contact, he knows he's being cheated. That's an unfinished essence conductor. It can't condense essence. I know. Ahem. The, the duel is about to start. All idle loafers scram. No need to wait for the clock. Just hear me count to one, two, and three. One. Two, three. Oh, you ratty bastard. You fucking ratty bastard. Fuck you. Woo! Oh. This Wait, so he's having like an unfinished essence conductor? Isn't that just a gun? Oh. It might be lethal, actually. I don't know. Wait, no. Everyone here has like a bit of essence. Oh, shit. We're, they're kind of fucked because Dante has magic. Is it? He can turn that shit into a machine gun. I fucking believe in him. He can. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, the Sun Lord dodged the attack. So you admit you lost. I'm still standing, so I haven't lost. Okay, time for the next duel then. This time it's my comrade's turn. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He tap dancing. Nightbread and his henchmen raise their essence conductors one after another and take turns firing at Dante. Dante, the unfinished essence conductor in his hand, obstinately holds up the rules while evading the attack. <laughs> the high almighty sun lord finally gets to eat dirt. This is too good. <laughs> Why? Don't you use essence to counterattack? I said I play by your rules, so I can't cheat. Oh no! Oh shit! Hunter may survive their job, but Dante may not survive this. Oh shit! Um, as Dante finishes speaking, an essence bullet flies in his direction from a difficult angle, rushing past his hand and leaving behind a trail of blood. Oh shit. There's no way you can win if you keep dodging like this. Just sit down, old man! This hot Ikemen knows what he's doing! I just need to not lose. Oh, he's trying to wear them out! Okay, I see the plan now. My turn again. So, Sun Lord, for just how long do you plan to dodge around like a rat in the gutter? Just this long. Excellent. I'm also getting bored. This is the last time. One, two, three. Sun Lord! <gasps> oh! Having covered the essence conductors in his hand in a thick layer of essence in advance, Dante sets his sight on the attacker. He then uses the front of the essence conductor a metal barrel to catch the essence bullet heading in his direction what in that tiny hole he caught a bullet in that tiny hole what <laughs> bruh that is a fucking jojo move i can't no i <laughs> and now right back at you no he's that fucking Tom and Jerry meme. Do you guys know that one Tom and Jerry meme where like uh where like where like Tom no someone someone bent Tom's rifle and it blown back at Tom <laughs> It's a fucking U-turn This is what it is Dante aims at his target and pulls the trigger The unfinished essence conductor becomes so hot it burns Dante's hand Following a deafening sound, the caught essence bullet is shot out with great speed. Whoa! 
Oh, yeah. He fucking did it! Yeah! As Night Rat is hit in the leg and keels over. Just the leg! Oh, come on! And familiar cries and the sounds of hooves can be heard coming from the village. Dante, Lone Wolf, we've got the old people and the children safely out, out the back of the tavern. Master! Lone Wolf, I brought everyone back. Damn it. When did you? What? Having the guts to collude with outsiders to betray us. We can't let him go. So this bully was up to no good. Get him, y'all! <laughs> Strip his pants, drag him through the mud. Let's fucking go! Oh, that's how he looks like? Oh, damn. He ugly. He got. He deserves to be dragged. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Garu. You did your best. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. We have two more chapters left. Damn, that was fast. That was really fast. That's... Are we going through this a bit too fast? Yeah, it's barely 40 minutes. Damn! Sound Lord Dante, you have the smell of blood on you. Are you wounded? It's fine. It's just a scratch. God, these bitches! <laughs> I swear, the more stubborn they are, they, they will never admit they they got shot! I can't. As long as you're alright. I didn't think you'd propose a duel. Do they have hospitals? Shit, I don't think this game has hospitals. Hello? Oh, shit. Wait, guys. What if they have hospitals? Like a modern hospital. Oh, guys. Hospital AU. <gasps> when we got the people out of the tavern, the sound of essence conductors firing could be heard all around. I nearly had a heart attack. Wasn't the biggest Dante fan until this event. Yeah, it's kind of like, hmm, very icky man. You know, it's like, hoo -hoo, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know so far, Dante. Uh, I guess the Mafia event has something. It has, uh, it has raised my opinion of him a bit, well, a bit better. Yes, like Dante is no more like Dante is just a meme, right? He's always meme. He's like the, the he always gets the short end of the stick because he's a he's a young kid. He's just a young guy that's ru like ruling a country. Everyone's like, hey, hey, baby, you haven't fucked before. Let's fuck. <laughs> uh, he has never had candy before. He's that type of guy. <laughs> But no, I can't believe the Mafia event. Okay, I'm still like, bruh, you know. And the Oliver's Ol biggest secret is that he fucking, like, well, what's it called? Watched someone, like, jack off and he got horny on his own. And Dante is like, oh, I'm a king, but I have to touch. Uh, like, I have to do nasty things to rule this country at a, at a young age. You know, that's his secret. That is, that is serious shit. That's like, you know. Okay, I get it. You know, he, he he holds his pride high and mighty and a king. You know, he, he portrays himself as a very good king. But, you know, he has to do nasty things behind the, behind the scenes to get what he wants, right? So, you know, I, I was like, mm, yes, that's right. That, the, that, that is very sexy. Very good. I love the angst. And he lost his parents. Warriors? Of, oh, okay. There, there it is. Yes. No, he, he didn't even watch, right? No, he just barely listened. And then they were like, yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> All of got horny and jacked off. And that was the beginning of his desires, okay? <laughs> he always be the one who gets really... Yeah, but it's funny though. It's funny though, because like, poor baby. Uh, in the Christmas event, he sneezed. He sneezed. <laughs> He's like, Achoo! what a baby. Did you and that bearded man have a duel? That was just to buy time for you to finish your tasks. <laughs> you had some pretty good rapport this time, didn't you be? Good, good thing the kid from the bar had a key to the back door. <laughs> we just did the right thing. No need to pat ourselves on the back. Um, we can't thank you enough. If it wasn't for your help, the town would be done for. 
The little clown of the clan in his little clown shoes. He's just a baby. You gotta forgive him, okay? He's just a very strict mama, okay? That's what he is. But you know, he reminds me of that one Omegaverse um, BL Dojin uh, manga, actually. Uh, okay, so the, the bottom, the Omega, is a pale, a pale guy from very far away his, his his family just like just sold him off to like something like a, a like like something like solaria kind of country to a prince you know but the prince was very very young then he was like what the fuck then <laughs> but 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 there's a giant time skip because there's rebellion and things and that kid was like before I ask your hand in marriage, I will make myself the... I will rule this country, I will take back my country, and I will be the best king you will ever see, and I will be the, the best man. I will be a man that you can value and be proud of being husbands to, okay? you Because you are my fated pair. I will make myself, like... Like, you know, like, fucking worth everything. You know, you'll be proud of me. And then time skip happened, and uh, the the country got taken over. Um, then the, the the bottom was with the refugees and everything, and uh, they were leading a rebellion group. And guess who is at the at the top of the rebellion group? The prince. <laughs> because that prince was trying to get take his country back, and he was like, oh, "My wife," <laughs> because they were separated for so long. And that was that was hot. That was like, oh. <laughs> and he came out hot. He was handsome. He was buff. He was like, bitch, I will show you. I, I can be a man that you will be proud of. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then there was like a line in that that BL, uh, that manga was something like, okay, uh, okay. So the one that led the rebellion was, uh, no, the one that took over the country was his brother too. His second brother or something. I don't know. He was jealous because he he and he was like a crap leader too. The name, so I don't know when it will be done, and I hope you guys enjoy. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that was hot. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's get back to the story. I'm sorry, I'm so like out of it. Actually, pre before the stream already, I was already like. I was already, like, not in a good condition. Yes. Like, okay, I'm gonna immersion break a little bit, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm just like, uh, uh, I didn't know if I wanted to stream today because I didn't... Okay, it's not a bad situation and all my friends are telling me, are saying that I'm overthinking things and it's actually whatever. But, you know, I am so scared of, like, people, people, like, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, all eyes on me, you know, like with you guys, like I know it's just like, yeah, we are just a cute little community, super small, super cute. I know you guys, you guys know me and that's it, right? It's so comfortable here, right? But I'm so scared of like um, a thing earlier because like it feels like everyone's eyes are on me now. And it's not a bad thing. Honestly, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just, ah, the internet, you know, it's so scary. Oh, thank you. I, I, I did feel better, but you know, it's always, I don't know. I guess anxiety? Really? Just really bad social anxiety. Ah, oh, thank you, Ratu Cards. You're so sweet. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I can't really, I don't really want to get into too much detail because or else I have to cut the VOD even more. But yeah, it's basically something I'm overthinking about something. And honestly, it's just really... Yeah, I'm just like, oh my god, don't look at me, don't find me, y'all, like, god, you know, don't find me, I just want to, like, vibe and stream new carnival for, for fun, you know? <laughs> okay, let's get back to the story, okay? Thank you for letting me let this out, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> it's nothing. 
Am I okay now? Yeah, I feel a lot better. You know, at least I, I kind of like want to explain a little bit of why I'm feeling like... Look, I can't speak. I couldn't speak earlier. You, you saw me like trembling, like, like uh, fucking up my words earlier. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. It's it's really a very small issue, but it's not anything bad, you know. It's really just like, oh my god. No, this is why I cannot be a corporate VTuber, guys. This is why I cannot. You know, when I think about it, right? You know, okay. So not gonna lie, when when you know a certain a certain company isn't in hellfire right now, right? I really looked up to that company. Because it, I, a lot of my Oshis are in the JP side and the KR side, right? I really looked up to them. And then now the dumpster fire is going on. I'm like, bro. <laughs> but I still love my JP Oshis though, okay? But we are, we are not going to discuss too much about that. But uh, damn, you know, <laughs> shit happened. And I'm like, you know, at first I was like, oh, what if I... It'd be nice if I got in. Hee <laughs> I can pursue a new career path. And now... With this minor in uh, minor thing that's happening on my personal life, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, if I can't take this much, I cannot be a corporate VTuber. You know, I cannot have more than ten people in my chat. I cannot have more than sixteen people watching me. You know, <laughs> I realize, you know, I realize that there, like you guys, there are ten people or. 16 people i don't know how many people i don't i don't look at my view count okay i i don't you know 16 people are watching and listening to me that's crazy i love you guys you know <laughs> any more than that i'm like i will die i will quit <laughs> Quite relatable, right? Thank you. I'm glad you guys understand. I'm just, I'm not talking on my ass, you know? <laughs> oh, you know, because like the more popularity you have in a way, like if you have a hundred people, a thousands of people, tens of thousands of people watching you, you basically have no more freedom in socially anymore. Like, like even if you do nothing wrong like you don't do anything controversial people are watching you they will find out where you live and things like that that's crazy you know i i, ne I never really understood the true seriousness of the nature until of being like a like a you know like a content creator you know those really famous content creators i never i never like I was like, oh, I guess that happens, you know. I always felt it like it was so distant to me. But after being a VTuber, and granted, of course, we are just only like a very small community, right? A really, really small one, right? If I go beyond this, I die. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Enough yapping. Enough yapping. Let's go back to the story. I, 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 I'm just glad that you guys understand. You know, you guys understand. It's very. I once streamed in an app before, so I understand, right? It's so scary. You know, I do love streaming. Not gonna lie, I love talking. Uh, I love being nonsen nonsensical. You know, a lot of shit I say is for the content. I'll be straight. You know, like, I'll be straight with you. A lot of shit that I say here, I will never say in real life. It's just for content, you know? But that that's how it is. That's what you gotta do as a content creator, right? So, so yeah. So yeah, any more than this, I'm dead. I'm pretty sure if you dug up anything, I will be dead instantly. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Okay, okay, enough, 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 enough. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead. Okay, so finally everyone, everyone is apologizing to Dante, sweet, sweet prince. Let's fucking go. Sorry about yesterday. Don't worry about it. The important thing is that everybody's safe. We also had tons of fun at the tavern yesterday. Ah, you taught me how to throw darts yesterday. It's so much fun. Can we play again sometime? Of course. Let's go for another game in a bit. Oh. See, Lone Wolf, he ain't so bad. Are you really the Grand Sorcerer? But you don't act stuck up at all. That's cause you gotta see it to believe it. And let me tell you, Solaria is also completely different now compared to way back. Oh, really? Really, they recently held the Sunburst Festival again with food and games throughout the city, and there were singing and dancing shows. 
They held Sunburst Festival again? Grandpa, what's the Sunburst Festival? It's a festival held to reward the people of Solaria for their hard work. It also symbolizes the wealth and strength of Solaria. Their current slumlord resumed it. It's a, it's a blast! Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea what Solaria was like in the past. But I can sure I can reassure you that today's Solaria won't disappoint you. Won't disappoint. Ah, oh, Dante, you blushing, you blushing. That's right. I'm Sunlord now. Banishing or even wiping out Solarians for minor offenses, and not leaving a single trace. There's no way I can let something like that happen in again. Oh wow, well, I want to see the Sunburst Festival. Will you hold it again? I want to go again too. The grilled meat is too yummy. For that, you'll just have to ask Big Bro right here. Aiden deliberately pushes the Sunlord with an, a smile to hint that it's his turn to share his thoughts. If I'm not misremembering, Sun Lord, you came here to confiscate the essence conductors. Are you gonna tell me things are different now? Actually, I haven't given up on that goal, but... You said beforehand that you wanted something. You have to duel according to the town's rules, right? Well then, I hereby raise a formal invitation to duel with you, with everyone as witness. Huh? What? You haven't played enough yet. I told you. Even if you win and take away everyone's essence conductors, this town isn't going to change. So don't be so naive, Sun Lord. No, that isn't my plan at all. Oh? If I can win this duel, I only demand a single chance. To prove myself to prove Solaria. I know past wounds can't be erased, but I am the Sun Lord now, and so let me so demonstrate Solaria's strength and wealth to you. Let me ask the elemental spirits of fire to once again bestow their blessing on this place. You seem to have made your, uh, to have your mind made up. Very well, I accept your invitation for a duel, Sun Lord Solaria. Everyone circling the empty area is holding their breaths, leaving enough space for the two duelists. Young children have been taken inside. You're planning not to use essence again? Since I'm the one asking him to duel me, everything has to go according to the rules of this place, under equal circumstances. What are you laughing about? Uh -huh. I hear that they have a habit here. A beauty will bless the duelist they admire with a kiss. So how about it, Sun Lord? Do you need a blessing? <laughs> oh, what a man! Oh, come on, Sun Lord, don't be like that. Huh? Why? I prefer enjoying my spoils of war after the victory. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, he... Oh, Aiden. Aiden is stolen. He was whipped. Ah, oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh -ho. Are you ready? Of course. When did he learn to riz? After fucking Aiden so many times, that's for sure. <laughs> he eventually has to learn, you know? <laughs> With the best role model possible, Aiden. <laughs> After exchanging their brief words, the two turn around simultaneously and step forward with their backs to each other, creating a distance between them. Then, without a word, they stop at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
This atmosphere is even more intense than I imagined. Ha! Huh. Oh, oh boy, I'm excited. I finally get to see the duo from the story. Time seems to stand still. That instant, the scene from the story Garu related turns real, making it impossible for people to look away. Everyone is looking on with their breath held, scared to miss a thing. Right. Now. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Spicy! Spicy, okay. Oh my god, final chapter time! Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's go! Final chapter of this week. After the sound of the clock stops, the two duelists, each with their own wounds from the previous battle, are still standing, neither having fallen over. The lone wolf's essence bullet struck the ground by Dante's foot, while Dante's essence bullet sent lone wolf's hat flying. The onlookers are dumbstruck for a moment before letting out sighs of relief. They then erupt in applause and cries of joy. Wait, who won? Wait, I did not. Oh, okay, the hat is flying. Hey, hey, okay, okay. He, he, he fucking won. Clean and steady and clear. <laughs> not overdoing things like this isn't too bad. Based on the result, I won. Did I not? Oh man, this smug bastard. Look at him. Yo, my phone is barely hanging on. Look at that lag. I gotta love it. <laughs> Looks like my age is catching up to me, Sunlord. You won. Arriving at the outskirts, Dante looks towards the sky, stretching his arms and closing his eyes. Aww. Elemental spirits of fire, heed my call. Inhabit this place once again. Because the people living here should be protected by you and by me. <gasps> ah! Slowly, colorful red spots of light appear, their number increasing constantly and their light getting brighter. Ah, he... The essence engraved in his blood vessels make Dante's, Dan uh, Dante's tattoos light up as though resonating with the rapidly descending elemental spirits and reflecting each other. Full of vitality, the power slowly seeps into the barren soil, quietly planting a future for people to look forward to. It feels so warm. Yeah, you see, because, okay, it's smuggling. They do, they smuggle just to get income because this place has fucking nothing, right? Okay, so what if we fix the issue? Why they do they smuggle? Give them money, give them resources, everything. And Dante is doing just that. That's fucking, I love him. Okay, this, this is exactly what it is. He's fixing the problem at its root. They're not bad people. They just want something to, they need to survive, you know? It's like you can really feel the land waking up. You originally came here to take care of the essence conductors, but you ended up risking your life to help defend us, and you even bestowed a blessing on this land. If I hadn't investigated you before, I'd assume Solaris' young sunlord was some soft-hearted goody two-shoes. <laughs> oh, you know the nasty shit that Dante's up to? Well, you know, I... 
Hey, hey now, buddy, 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 buddy. You, you, you fucking hypocrite. You don't say shit. Okay. You, you are a good guy, but you have to do smuggling. It's the same thing as Dante. He has to run the country. He has to do dirty things too. Okay. <laughs> For the people. <laughs> Thank your fellow townsfolk. It's their fearless resilience and unity that got, that's gotten my praise and approval. And also, you're not the only one who understands investigating their opponent. Is that so? Actually, Solaria has long since stopped owing us anything. Oh. My dots exactly. So if you break your word and let essence conductors appear in Solaria again, I won't stand by idly. <laughs> we will be honored by your presence when that happens. Oh no. Whenever you, whenever you visit. I wonder what Lone Wolf and Sun Lord Dante are talking about over there. They're not gonna fight, are they? Don't worry. They won't. Look, they're both laughing. I think they're about settled. Dante was awesome just now. It feels like the ground is different. If they can have more water sources here and grow p more plants, I bet things will be easier for the Shepherd and everybody else. Mm. Yeah, Dante must be thinking the same. Maybe once their living environment has improved, they won't have to take any more risks to make a living. And maybe those weapons will also disappear. Exactly, y'all! For the PayPal! Okay, yes. This way, this town's adventure story will have a good ending. I almost forgot. We came here to gather materials. I didn't think we'd run into Dante and all this other stuff. Garu, how are your investigations? Oh, no, your, your observations? Although I've seen the real duel, there's still a lot here I haven't seen. There's more stuff I want to learn. <laughs> Alright, then let's stay a few more days. It wasn't easy getting here, so we gotta check out everything and listen to all the stories. Ah, his room! Wait, wait, let's look at his room. Oh my god. Oh, he wears two different colored shoes. Oh my god, that's so cute. Everything is Garin Karu coded. This is so fucking cute. Everything. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. There's even a mama duck and a baby duck. Ah! Oh, do you see that little painting on the side? That's so cute. Oh my, oh my god. I know I can't. I can't have the little dolls on the bed. That's so fucking cute. <laughs> uh, the bone toy, yes. And the fucking meat. The meat is just hanging on the top. He he, <laughs> he has the fucking baby baby thingy. <laughs> It looks like the bread frame has ears. Oh my god. Yeah, once you mention it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh my god. This is so cute. Oh, what else is he drawing? Garukaru. Garukaru and the pack. Oh, I think it's referencing the Misty Veil vale event, right? When they, they saw his actual dad. Aww. Oh my gosh. What are those spices at the side? What are they referencing to? Oh well. Okay, we done. We done. It's so cute. I feel like the, the window is also like a paw print. Don't you guys think so? The little tree, tree circles on the top. Then, using Dante as a medium, the elemental spirits of fire bestowed their blessing on the barren town, and everybody lived happily ever after. Ah! The end. Oh wow, this is the last page? Yep, it's finally done! Now we just asked Aster to bind it into a book. Got you. When you get the finished work, remember to let me be the first to read it. 
Of course. Ah, I also want to let Sun Lord Dante read it. Hmm? You definitely have to. After all, he was super important. Um, when the time comes, can we go on another adventure, Master? I want to go see Lone Wolf. I want to see even more sights and collect even more stories. Mm. Of course you can. I can't wait to go on more adventures with you, Garu. But if you have been drawing all morning, how about we go to the kitchen for food first, and then take an afternoon walk? Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is so sweet. All's well that ends well, right? My gosh, that was that was a nice story. It's not like over the top like the previous events. This is just nice, you know, just nice, right? There was a ride and a half. Yeah, it's just like, you know, yeah, it's just chill. It's relaxed, you know, it's pretty good. Yes, yes. All right, with that, I'll, I'll end it here, okay? Thank you so much, everyone, for listening to me, for attending the stream, everything. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope to see you guys next time, all right? All right, okay, take care, everybody. Good night, sweet dreams. Bye bye. That's Ayumusumi. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs>